So to be or uh, not to be a decorative product. Uh, being in the land of William Shakespeare, I, I feel this quotation is quite appropriate for today's presentation. So to be or not to be a decorative product. To be, I, I will be sharing with you a new technology for decorating building materials. A system that transforms fiber cement boards, for example, into fully, into fully finished decorative products for indoor and outdoor use. Printing has been adding value, um, has been adding value for many years since Gutenberg invented uh, the first, the first uh, modern printer. Following his invention, uh, several printing techniques were developed, mainly focused on productivity and printing time. In the 20th century, new techniques also were developed to increase. Um, to improve or to, to um, achieve new applications in other industrial fields beyond paper. In fact, the late 1990s witnessed the start of digitalization and the installation of the first digital printers. All these conventional uh, printing technologies were developed or were designed uh, for mass production, were based on dyes and, and organic uh, inks, which give a high or a white diamond color, and also were focused on printing quality. However, these techniques are not suitable for decorating building materials, as they um, require uh, high inventories. They do not provide uh, permanent decoration and you know um, long runs uh, take a long time and then costs. So when compare when we compare in this graph when we compare conventional printing technologies to Indian technologies, we realize how digital printing has revolutionized the way or how we um, how printed products are produced today. As you see in this graph, conventional printing techniques really need long runs to achieve the same euro per square meter ratio as digital. So in a world where customization and product personalization are strong trends, as you see, digital printing technology has lots of advantages against conventional in terms of costs and personalization. So um, if we see, uh, you know, since uh, that uh, first modern uh, printer uh, in, uh, back in the 1440s, um, the printing spectrum has diversified a lot, has diversified further in the recent years with new possibilities and new business opportunities. Develop developments have included printing, new printing technologies, but also new color inks. Moreover, digital design softwares are, have also increased design and decoration capabilities, enabling all types of patterns. At present, a new era is emerging with printed electronics where circuits and sensors can be printed to provide the spoken functions to final products. So every printing technology development has focused on personalization as a way of product differentiation to increase value. In today's world, mass production might be already a thing of the past, especially as 3D printing will allow a great deal of personalization. So really, when, when, other, when other materials start thinking uh, about printing as a manufacturing tool to add value uh, beyond paper, uh, conventional <coughs> techniques, as I said before, uh, had several limitations. And it was when both developments, the piezoelectric inject uh, print heads and the inorganic inks uh, joined together where this uh, technology became a real industrial uh, manufacturing tool. 
In fact, in the last 10 years we've seen this technology has revolutionized the way ceramics decorate. Because um, these, uh, both these two developments of this technology uh, provide several advantages versus other industrial uh, printing technologies. Increase efficiency because they reduce costs, increase productivity, Zero setup costs uh, are involved for new products, so cost-effective runs are involved. This technology, digital technology, allows you fast response to customer uh, orders, so the just-in-time customization philosophy is uh, also possible. Reduced inventories, I forgot to say before, but for example, for a screen printing, for a design made by a screen printing, you require at least three screens. So digital now uh, gets rid of uh, all these uh, type of things and reduce inventories quite significantly. The fact that this technology is a non-contact technology is ideal for many to say all is, is quite uh, ambitious, but for many uh, type of substrate. And last but not least, which I think is the important for, for building materials, is this technology allows or is suitable for uh, long-lasting application, long-lasting decoration features. So as I said before, uh, the... Um, <coughs> The ceramic sector uh, was one of the first building materials to adopt this technology, and the penetration of this technology in the ceramic sector is enormous. <coughs> in less than eight years, now we can uh, ensure that uh, more than 75% per of the decoration lines have converted to digital. So you can see in this graph how fast the, this technology has been adopted, maybe for the advantages I've mentioned before. So, in 2008, the first digital printer uh, using inorganic inks was installed in the ceramic sector, and eight years later, we have more than 6,000 inject machines running 24-7 in, in industrial conditions uh, with more than 75% penetration in, in as a market share. So um, we can say that digital printing business has boomed. And in Taka, we have um, played a major role in this technology. As uh, inorganic pigment experts, we've been more than 40 years developing materials for decoration in, cera in the ceramic sector. In the last years, we've been adapting, transforming, developing, and commercializing this technology for, to, for being used in other building materials, like fiber cement bolts. So what we propose is to um, transform fiber cement bolts in, into ready-to-install decorative products, which open up new markets, new opportunities, and new segments. And in fact, what is best is that it's a very simple to do. So um, the uh, decoration process consists of three main uh, steps. Pre-treatment of the uh, pre-treatment, decoration, and finishing. Pre-treatment is the um, first stage. We will apply a primer to <coughs> prepare the decoration for, um, to prepare the surface for uh, further decoration. The decoration is done by inorganic inks, allowing all types of patterns, all endless uh, designs uh, are possible, uh, giving the decoration long-lasting durability. And the third uh, step is the finishing. You know, the finishing to protect the decoration and also to give fine <coughs> properties, aesthetic qualities to the uh, to the product. So. Currently, this process is under patent pending because the novelty of this process is the use of inorganic pigmented inks uh, for decorating building materials. 
if we go in a bit of a detail of each of the, of the steps, we say that first of all, um, as I said before, we will apply a layer um, of, uh, of a primer. This primer has uh, primarily two, two main um, objectives. First is promoting the addition or bonding of the subsequent layers, but also allows color development of the inorganic inks. This uh, primer can be transparent, white, or color. And although we would recommend to apply by um, spray cabin, can also be applied by color. Going into the detail of the second stage, which is you know the core uh, the core technology of this process, is the digital inject uh, decoration. It is done by digital <coughs> inject printers and use digital inorganic inks. This uh, step provides to the product uh, all types, as I said before, all types of designs and, and patterns. But what is more important, and I would like to highlighted through my presentation, is the, the nature of the inorganic inks uh, give this uh, technology the ability to uh, be permanent in, in time. So the, the, the decoration will stand the past of time. Beyond the ink, digital inject technology has also three other key aspects, which are the printer manufacturer, the printer suppliers, and the color management software uh, suppliers. So uh, currently, uh, uh, machine manufacturers are uh, European and non-European. All our inks work fine and well with all of these uh, manufacturers. And what is probably more key to this technology are the printing head suppliers. The printing heads are the injectors that enable the inject of the, of the ink. Um, printer suppliers continuously develop technology, and we are in partners of many of them. In fact, these new inks for building materials have been certified for use for print head uh, for this print head technology. And last but not least are the um, color management softwares, which are really the tools uh, that enable you know, the, the digital image to become an industrial product. Um, currently, uh, there are uh, specific color management softwares. That means they work uh, for specific uh, printer um, makers only. But there are also open uh, color management softwares, which can be used with any any maker, any printer maker. We um, are very <coughs> familiar with, with all of them uh, as uh, we develop features uh, along with them so that they achieve the best from the digital image to the industrial product. And the third step is the, the final step, but is probably also one of the most important steps, which is the finishing. Here, um, you know, uh, this is the, 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 the step where you protect the design, give final properties to the, to the product. Here we have, we have chosen a UV coating applied by roller and, and cured by UV lamps. But um, this coating technology will mainly depend on the product, the, the final properties required for the product. So that is be the same for exterior flooring than for interior panels. Uh, currently, this technology, uh, in terms of machinery and materials, is uh, widely uh, developed, and we have uh, the ability to provide the, um, the three layers which have been optimized for the use of decorating in building materials. So in short, we are talking um, about uh, proven technology. These machines uh, are you know, worldwide working right now, uh, many, many of, of them. And now, which is, I think, the, what I want you to, to go home and, and think about, is that now there are the materials uh, that make this a uh, reality. Okay, so what um, I 
proposed uh, is that um, fiber cement boards become uh, a decorative product. So you don't sell fiber cement boards uh, anymore, but you sell ready to install decorative products like for a warm, cozy entrance, tropical bathroom, so why you should choose this decorating technology? We have talked about this uh, in the last 10 minutes, but I would like to reinforce three main messages. We are talking about tested technology. As I said before, more than 6,000 machines, inject machines working worldwide. 2,000 of them already with our inks in, in other applications. We are talking about inorganic colors, permanent decoration, ready to use for, for building materials. And we are talking about cost effective technology. You know, the investment in, in the machinery and the consumer goals uh, allow uh, to increase the commercial, mar the commercial margin of, of these boards. And we have studied with several uh, fiber cement manufacturers this. Uh, this investment, the return of this investment, would be less than 12, 12 months. And you know, uh, so far, uh, this inorganic use of, of things is, is, is being protected. So as a matter of fact, we are honored to say that the uh, IPEX group, one of the leaders of manufacturing fiber cement boards, has already adopted this technology uh, a year ago. They've been running this process um, more than 14, 14 months now. And six months ago, they started marketing and selling Simplissima. Simplissima is a decorative fiber cement board ready in, in the market for to be installed. So as you know, um, maybe image transmit more than words, I would like to share with you this video.
So coming back to where we are starting, started and quoting William Shakespeare, I ask you to ask yourself to be or not to be a democratic Thank you very much.